Hey Gab. Hey guys, it's Gabby, and today I'm going to be doing a very highly requested video with the help of my boyfriend videotaping me because this new tripod I got to like. Yep, this is me. This is Brandon, and he's <laughs> um filming this, and you'll get to hear my side comments. Yep, his commentary. So basically, I've been receiving numerous uh, comments and questions on social media, such as. Uh, the relationship between me and Brandon. People are like, how do you keep a long relationship? How do you keep a healthy relationship? A strong and long relationship? And just so many questions have been surfacing about Brandon and I. And I'm not trying to say our relationship's perfect, but we have been dating for three plus years. And I am definitely confident that we're going to have many more. I think we're headed the right direction. Yep. So. We just want to share with you guys how we do it and how we keep each other happy and healthy in our relationship. So the first rule, we kind of took some notes down with Brandon and we went over a few things. But we, we made a game plan. The first rule we went over was you got to be best friends. You got to have other hobbies in a relationship other than being romantic. When you're just romantic, it's going to get really bland. So what I want you guys to do is picture you and your significant other and picture if there was some sort of law in our country or in your country that you are not allowed to kiss your significant other. Would you still want to spend your time with them? Would you still want to hang out with them on a snow day? Play outside, a wrestle, um, watch a movie, watch scary movies together. Uh, do stupid chase things. Chase each other, you know, build forts. <laughs> Make videos together. <laughs> We understand. It doesn't always come out easy. Like poop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, we're not gonna put that in there. <laughs> yes we are. Mm. The second rule for keeping a long and strong relationship is you gotta be real. And by this I mean like, don't be embarrassed to be yourself and don't make yourself a different character when you're with this person. For example, some people may be like, oh, you should see how she acts in front of her boyfriend. She's so different. Like, no, don't put on a front. You just gotta be real. Because eventually, if you are planning to stay together for a long time, they're gonna find out you're putting on an act. Don't be embarrassed to be yourself. Don't be afraid to not wear makeup. Don't be afraid to eat a hamburger instead of a salad on a date. Like, don't be self-conscious about anything. Because if he, he makes you feel self-conscious about anything, then he's not good for you. You want to be with someone that enhances your natural personality and brings out the best. Another thing that had to do with being real was don't put your significant other on a pedestal because they are not perfect. Nobody's perfect. You're not perfect. And when you put them on a pedestal, not you become clingy, you become obsessive, you go crazy, and you act different you know you try to act all very sweet and innocent and I'll do anything for you but you know if you do that they're just gonna take advantage of you too so being real they'll respect who you are they'll respect your decisions you make just don't be bossy <laughs> um, and they will also not take advantage of your kindness rule number three is understand and by this especially girls um, I mean if your boyfriend doesn't answer your text in an hour, who cares? Don't go crazy. Who cares? Guys literally we're, don't think about the stuff girls think we're about. We're pretty dumb. They don't look at a text and be like, "Oh, she's annoying me. I'm gonna wait an hour to reply so she catches the drift." Yeah, that we she's don't. Me. They we, don't think that way. But um, yeah, don't analyze things and just try to understand that guys are guys, and if they're not answering you, they're obviously sleeping. Or eating, watching their favorite sports channel and eating, or they're, or they're playing sleeping, with their friends, or, or they're, I said sleeping, or they're sleeping again, sleeping again. Like they literally sleep all the time. Guys do. But and another thing you gotta know is you can't cling the shit out of your significant other. By that I mean don't constantly text him. Don't do a double text. Don't be like hi. He doesn't answer an hour later. Don't hey. send another hi. Or a hey. No, because so then I'm definitely not answering. Then, yeah, then they're definitely just not going to answer. They're just going to be like, what the hell? Like, no. If you don't get a reply right away, just wait. Honestly, just be patient. It's not that hard. Find something else to do just like guys do. For some reason, it's so much easier for guys to find things to do than girls because guy girls are always on their phone. Why is he texting me? Oh my god, I can't focus on anything else. Girls really are 
sensitive creatures. And we and play Xbox. Sometimes guys don't understand that. So if you text them, why aren't you texting me? They're just gonna be like, you get, you catch my drift. Guys are guys and girls are girls. If they're not answering your text, it's not in spite of you. And if they don't respond to you at all, they just don't like you. Next rule. Um, keep your relationship old fashioned. And this kind of ties in with the whole understanding thing because you shouldn't rely on technology and texting to keep your relationship. You shouldn't not call each other, you know? Play old fashioned, call each other on the house phone, stay up all night on the phone. Instead of taking one second to send a text message, take a good 15 minutes to write out a note and give it to your significant other. I mean, I really do think times have changed from the 1950s till now because back in the day, Guys were actually gentlemen because they had to give effort to keep their relationships, such as writing the letters, um, spending a certain amount of cents on a phone call, a payphone, and a payphone, and they had to walk to their girlfriend's house, or if their parents didn't let them borrow the car, you know what I mean? Like it was very old-fashioned, and it required a lot of effort to keep your significant others. So now when you see really cute grandparents together and stuff, it's because you know they didn't have the technology we have now that destroys relationships. Social media, number one thing you should not base your relationship off of. You should not break up over someone favoriting someone else's tweet, someone liking someone's Instagram picture, someone liking a Facebook status. It's the dumbest thing ever. In the future, if someone's like, oh, why did you guys break up? Oh, because we got in a fight. Well, why'd you get in that fight? Because you liked your Instagram photo. Like, literally grow up. Social media and the internet was not created back then. And you see how rates have literally gone up for divorce now. So, I'm just an old-fashioned girl because me and Brandon try to keep our relationship as old-fashioned as possible. I truly do believe that that's why we are still together and we've been together for three years. Rule number five is effort. And by that, I mean... One person can't be doing all the work in the relationship. It takes two to keep the relationship rolling. If your man isn't giving any effort, that is honestly a very good reason to break up. It, it gotta go both right, both ways, right, Brandon? Absolutely. He's re he's really good at communicating with me and stuff. Effort is just the best, and especially good night texts and good morning texts. Those those help. Their ask me another question. Ask you want me to ask you another question, Brandon? You give effort, right? Oh, you're shaking the camera as I'm saying yes. Oh, I'm mute. Brandon's really, really good at giving effort. Thanks. Really good. The sixth rule is reassurance. Girls are good at telling their boyfriends I love you and stuff, but sometimes boyfriends slack off with saying, I love you, you look beautiful today. Like, they need to reassure their girlfriends that they look beautiful or that they love them because then it'll keep the girl secure and she won't get jealous. And if you're secure with who you are in your relationship, then you will not get jealous. That all ties in with reassurance. So if your boyfriend re just reassures you how much he loves you, um, how you make his life wonderful, odds are you're not going to be a jealous girlfriend. So that's just my advice for that. And the last rule is love. I will love, love you. unconditionally, okay? And me and Brandon definitely do love each other unconditionally. Like, you know how people just sometimes let the fights get the best of them and they break up. That means they didn't love each other unconditionally. Like, if you love each other unconditionally, regardless the fight, regardless the past, regardless this person said this, like, you still love them, you know what I mean? So if you still have that eternal love for your significant other and they have it back, you're not gonna break up. That's pretty much it. Those were my rules. And me and Brandon hope that we have taught you something. Right? I think we did. I think we have some fine young people listening to this. And hopefully they take your advice. It was very good. <laughs> Thanks, babe. All right. Well, well wait. do you wanna get a glimpse of the man behind the camera? The man That's behind the camera. Oh, and if you guys were wondering, I got my hair cut today. I got the dead ends cut off, and it was a good, like, four four inches. It's kind of short. Not that short, but, and I got sideways. That looks great. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>